There we go. There we go. Welcome Just in. Just like that. <laughs> Welcome in. We used to call this show Gun Talk Live. And because YouTube doesn't like live videos that involve firearms, now it's just called sure. Gun Talk L I V E. Are there any? Dots uh, we haven't in there. come up. With we we haven't yet. come up. With, we haven't settled on a name. Sorry, but we are open to ideas. We we have gotten some suggestions, and I think they're good suggestions. One that woke me up this morning at four o'clock was Bullet in. Bullet in. It's a bulletin. Like, it's a bulletin. Like it's like the news bullet of the week. In bullet. I don't know. He's like, I, I'm still thinking about it. Look, KJ, there are no <laughs> bad answers in a brainstorm. We'll, we'll set that up on the board. However, we'll come back that to it. was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome in to the show. Um, this show is brought to you by all the companies in the gun industry. We have a lot of sponsors. I don't and know. we don't get paid by any of them. <laughs> yeah. We just send out invoices. Maybe yeah. some of them will pay. I mean, I guess that's a... I guess that's a good theory on you, never know. you could do that. The big company that just slips through the cracks. Like you don't but you don't you can't ding them for a lot. No. Like you can't. Red flags. Yeah. yeah. Mm, Maybe do, do you that. do you go like a specific amount? Like six hundred and thirty two dollars. And seventeen cents. Yes. That's I it. mean I guess. And then what would be your billable like what are you billing them for? Like you have to be fairly general or yeah. Keep marketing broad. services. Marketing. Marketing. Advertising. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're like, ah, those weirdo <laughs> ad people. Marketing yeah. department, who knows what they bought. So, welcome in. Um, today we're going to talk about, well, you see it in the title, right? FN Sue's Ruger. We're going to talk about that, fill you in, get your take on I mean, it. Um, an FAFO moment. This is probably going to be a recurring thing. This here. has to be a recurring moment because there's so many of them up there, and it's the figure it out moments yes when people figure it out <laughs> you figure it out and uh a would you rather um gun themed would you rather yes so there you go so also brought to you by range ready studios range ready studios.com if you're thinking about taking a gun class handguns maybe an ar class just becoming a better shooter we can help we put on classes here at the at the headquarters and they're kind of awesome, if I do say so myself. They're awesome. We've we got, got a lot. We got a lot out. of good feedback. Yeah, lots of good feedback. All five star reviews, of course. That's right. It's true. Um, we've got a basic AR course coming up on April 10th that you can still get in, and an Arco One class that you can still get in on April 11th and 12th. Um, I'm sorry, guys. It looks like the Crimson Trace Laser Experience has sold out. <laughs> that sucks and for you guys. Also, we're about to drop a lot of new classes on the schedule. Sign up for the Range Radio Studios email. You'll be the first to find out. I swear that's how we do it. We send yeah. it to those emails first. So. I'm, yeah, there okay. are all kinds of classes. And Diagnostic Pistol, May 2nd and 3rd. You got to get on on that one. That's a neat one. All right, so why don't we just jump in here? Okay, let's jump our, in. Our and first I think our topic. first topic was, I mean, we started out strong with Ruger. All right, FN sues Ruger over the SFAR mark claiming infringement on its SCAR trademark. Okay, stay with me here. We're gonna want your thoughts on this. FN Herstyle SA, you guys know them as FN, FN USA, FN America, has mm -hmm. taken legal action against Sturm Ruger, accusing the firearm manufacturer of trademark infringement and unfair competition. The complaint outlines a longstanding history of FN has the SCAR trademark. You guys know the SCAR, mm -hmm. semi-automatic rifle um, platform. It's kind of its own platform that uh, shoots 5.56, it shoots other calibers. It's very cool. Um, so they are accusing Ruger of using a mark SFAR, which is pronounced similarly to SCAR and used in connection with direct competition, directly competing firearms. They allege that this action by Ruger is likely to cause confusion among consumers, leading them to believe there is some affiliation or association between Ruger's products and FN's SCAR branded firearms. Now, let me give you a little bit of backstory here. Um, obviously, we work both both companies. They're both they both make great products. Sometimes yeah. business stuff and lawyers get in the way. Um, but Ruger brought out the small frame auto loading rifle. rifle. Yeah. And when it came out, we actually were like SFAR, SFAR, what's it called? I think we called we're, it both things. 
And we get a lot of different products here that we're like, yeah. so how do you say this? What's the name of this? Or what's the name of this brand? Or whatever. Just to get clarification. Get clarification so we're saying it correctly when we do these videos. And Ruger said, it's, it's because we were saying Sfar. So how do you say Sfar? He goes, it's, it's not Sfar, it's just S-F-A-R. And then I looked it up when I saw this, and there is a video from Ruger from back when they launched it from one of the Ruger guys saying, hey, this is our new S-F-A-R, small frame, auto-loading rifle. So, and then of course the S-F-A-R is um, chambered in 308. now it's chambered in other stuff, maybe? I don't know if they released it yet. You um, yeah, let's just <laughs> refrain from saying but it's, anything. But it's, it's not a big AR-10 size. It's an AR, kind of more of a AR-15 Small size. frame. So AR. that's the story. KJ, I know you've been listening to me ramble. Do you have any thoughts here? What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought? Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. I, I'm full. Hmm. Okay. Well, we would love your thoughts, your comments, your take on this stuff. I think it's interesting. I guess... My question is, is, is SCAR, it's S-C-A-R, right? Mm -hmm. So are there little, is it an acronym? <laughs> Why are you going to ask me stuff I don't know the answer to? I, I mean, I'm we just all trying call to it figure it out because I mean, we call SCAR. that a SCAR, but since we got clarification on what you actually call it. Special Operations Command. Wait, no, I'm sorry. It's used by Special Operations Command. Yes, it's a, you, used by SOCOM, but it's it's all caps S C A R. There's no like points in it, right? There's no like periods in it that. I don't see any periods. Okay. Special Operations Forces Combat Assault Rifle. Special Operations Forces Combat Assault Rifle. So that's what it is. A S C A R. Special Combat Assault Rifle. Okay. All you right. Can't skip over that. But they didn't name but, it the S O F C A R. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's okay. probably a good idea. I'm glad you guys yes. did not go with that. It would not. <laughs> yeah. Have been it good. wouldn't have been the scar. Yeah. I mean, scar's better. Soft car. They've got the scar H. Yeah. The heavy. But, Seven six two. But since getting the clarification and understanding what the S F A R is, that's what we called it, and that's just what it is. So. But it's, 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 it's kind you're of surprising right. because le usually when you're naming a product, we hear this all the time in the gun world. The worst. They always say naming the product is the hardest thing because yeah. you're like, oh, what about this? Oh, somebody already has a trademark on that. What about this? Uh -huh. Oh, somebody already has a trademark on that. Because they have, obviously, these two companies have lots of lots. lawyers well, um, that's the to thing, look up this stuff. Some, you're, you're exactly right. What you hit on the head is there's sometimes lawyers get in the way. And I don't... So... Like, if we came out with a black polymer pistol called the 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 Doc. Yeah, you know where I'm going with this. <laughs> the Deloc. The D Lock. The D Lock. The Plock. I don't know. It's a But but yeah, I see you where you're going a, with it. You would get a letter. I'll tell you that much. Oh, you you might get a knock on your door. It's from the Austrians. We are yeah. here to talk to you. Do, we, do you have your papers? You have your papers. <laughs> Any trademark papers. <laughs> papers. Have you seen these papers? That's, that's what they'll say. Deliver you some papers, yeah. sir. I'll see you in Georgia. That's, yeah. So, Ooh. yeah, I mean. I don't know. I'm just saying. I so, know. I want to I get to the next one because I don't know hilarious. exactly what we're doing, but it really? sounds exciting. Okay. I so, I'll set it up. I haven't seen it yet. Are we going to be able to see this, Michael? Is this going to play? Yeah, yeah. All right. So, so. You were tossing around ideas on like, oh, you know, we need we need current subject matter to all this. Just ideas for segments. And we and you came up with the you know we need an F A F O moment, and so I was kind of stupid. Well, they used to call the stupid crook moment, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, but now we've got this video. So. Now we got video from everywhere. So let's let's check this one out, and it goes south.
Hold on. All right. So, oh. Oh, oh she's running into the That's assault. Car. That's assault. So what does he do? Aha. Oh. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start stabbing some gonna, rubber. <laughs> Here we go. He didn't just start shooting oh, her. Oh, no. Because you must be the context. You must not really, like, be a threat. Right. Wow. So, so it must not be a threat. It must be, like, and so they start popping all the tires. Like, you're not going to get very far. I mean, I don't know. You can get pretty far on on rims, on rims, right? If you don't care about but the rims, not very fast, <laughs> not, not efficiently. Yeah, she's kind of blocked. But in yeah, too. so I, she's I said of, she. I, Is it a she? I did you just assume I, the the bad driving? Hey now. Is, I think okay. He, but look, he, this she. is obviously assault, and she's gonna find out. They don't like it when you run into police cars. They get no. really upset about that. Yeah. I mean, damage to the property, and I mean, really, that that. I don't, oh, taser! Yeah, so here comes a taser. All right, she's now. finding out. And look, she's so finding out. It's, it's look. Her, oh yeah. She's stiffening up. It is a lady driver. Oh boy. Just by coincidence. Oh boy. But like, look at her tires are continuing to go because I think they have tased her. And she's resting on the gas. And she's and her body stiffened up. Oh boy. And and put pushed on the gas pedal. Oh wow. So, to be tased while driving. Yeah. That's... I mean, total loss of control right there. That's bad. Hey, I'm going to tase her. Everybody back up because she's still at the wheel. My, my worst fear oh my about gosh. getting tased is messing myself. Yeah. Like, or, I mean, or if I'm running at full sprint like you've seen, the, face plant. Like you don't have your hands to stop you. You just like, Full on. <laughs> full on gone. God, that's like, bad. That would be That's awful. how you lose teeth. Yep. That's how you lose totally. teeth. Totally. That, mm -hmm. That's one way. And crystal meth. But anyway, uh, all right, let's Dude, move on to Would You Rather. That's methed up. Uh, <laughs> see what I did there? All right, so we got this one in from our good buddy, Luke. And he says, he texts me this, and he goes, hey. Deep thoughts in the middle of the night, hey. Yeah. Would you rather? Would you rather in a zombie apocalypse, and I have so many questions about this, would you rather, and he said 50, but I'm going to say 100, would you rather have 100 rounds of buckshot or 522. So, you brought this up and I am not a I not I am not a zombie expert. So, when people start discussing which version of zombie, I yes. don't I don't know the difference. Because do you get World War Z zombies which are really fast? I mean, they're fast. Like yeah, they're like never happened to slow zombies. Well, that's the Walking Dead zombies. Like that's the Walking Dead zombies. They're just you know, they're just inching along. Trying to make it through. In that it's case, like through the day. In that case, I'll be like, well, I have more rounds with five hundred with the two twenty two, because then you could take accurate shots and it's it's quiet. But I think you wouldn't want to alert all the zombies. So I would think like a, if you had a suppressed twenty two, the five hundred rounds would be the way to go. I gotta say five hundred rounds of twenty two, just more ammo. I'm and we it's kind of quiet. assume when it's if it's. It's not a, it's not a zombie event. It's an apocalypse. So it's yes. not like, oh, there's two zombies in town. Like everyone's a zombie. Yeah. So yeah, you want more ammo. But the problem is, is that if you get World War Z zombies, I mean, one sound, they're all going to come How to you. How quickly is a is a twenty two going to stop a zombie? I, like you're like, oh, it. headshots. Well. Well, but if you have to make, but if you're shooting into a horde. That's the that's the problem. You can shoot faster and transition to targets because there's gonna be less recoil with the twenty-two. Right. 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 But but a you, but a buckshot is a stopper. Yes. I mean that is that's a, right. That is a fight stopper. Right. I mean, so is it? You know, if, are you battling hordes or are you battling the two Zs and three Zs? Yeah, it's a tough call. That's why I still you say should have lots of different types of guns. And ammo. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that way you could have both. Yeah. So that's you Ryan's answer, both. An oh, AR both. with a big mag and lots of yeah, them. Yeah, lots of mags, lots of ammo. See, that's, okay, that's a... 40 that. round P mags, just saying. So that's another would you rather for another time. Mm. Would you rather have 10,000 rounds of ammo for one gun? Or would you have like... 100 ten, rounds of ammo. 10 guns with... A hundred rounds, 100 rounds of ammo for each of them. To be continued. Oh, yeah. To be right. continued. That's we'll all we We'll discuss that on <laughs> our next episode of 
whatever this show is called now. We don't know. Thanks for watching, guys and gals. Have a good day. Have a good week. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Gun Talk Live. For more great gun content, subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. You can always watch the Gun Talk channels on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon. And of course, you can always find us at guntalk.com. Thanks for watching.